Hi, this is Paul from AppWorks. Uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit about the list function, which is pretty useful in FileMaker because a lot of times when you're scripting or doing other things, you need a variable with, with uh, values that are return delimited, in other words, that are separated by a return character. So you end up with a list of items, basically just as you would expect to write it out in a Word document or something. The question is how to collect these. So one example that comes up a lot is you're on a record, for instance, in this case, a company record, and you want to get the IDs for all of the related employee records. What you would do, typically, would be you would start out in a script and you would go to the related records of this company. So you'd go to the layout for these related records and you'd show only those people that belong to this company, you would either use a go to related or maybe you would search based on the company ID. You go to the first record and you start looping through them and adding all of those IDs to this variable, people. Um, and the most straightforward way to do that is to just say set the value people to itself separated by this return character, which FileMaker, of course, has in here because it is used so often. And that works pretty well. Except what ends up happening is, especially um, what happens is since you're on the first one and there's no value in people, you end up with a return character, and so basically a blank line, and then you get all the values. As you go through each of these, exit, go back to the original layout, and then display the values. So what you see here is you end up with this blank line here for no reason. You can deal with that using uh, an if statement when you define your variable, but that's kind of a pain to set up every time and it's just not really necessary because an easier way is to come in here and you would say list and then the list that you're using so the values you already have which in this case are in people and the value you want to add in this case the ID field of the person record say OK save that you run it again now, since there was no value in the people variable to start with, it just sets that first value to the first ID record, or the first ID field, um, and saves you a lot of trouble when you're writing out the scripts. Uh, and in fact, this function also lets you do this in an even easier way, which is instead of having to go to all the related records and grab them, you could just say set variable. people, then you say list, and you're assuming you're on the company record, so from that context you're going to grab the related data of all the IDs from the person table, and then we'll use the same custom dialog. And you see it returns the exact same thing, but with only two script steps instead of however many were in the previous one. And the way list works is you can have just one value, or if you're going to be adding a bunch of values, for instance, let's say you don't want to grab it from a field, you just want to define a bunch of things. You could just say one, two, three, and do this as many times as you want. Or if as in the first example, when, when you have a variable first, it takes any value that's in that variable and then adds the rest of these on top. So this is useful just in some times when you need a list of values for a particular reason in your script, and you don't want to have to bother with getting all the return characters right, especially because when you're in here, sometimes you want to see it, you want to write it out. Like You start writing one, two, three, thinking that this return character is the same as this, but it's not. So then you see it just gives you all those values just the same way. And this is useful in a lot of places when you're gathering data either for a graph or report or just for some scripted function um, and can be used in a lot of ways, especially since there are so many other functions that deal with return delimited lists such as getting values out of them or searching those values or sorting them. I hope that's been helpful and I'll see you next time.